Hello everybody, welcome to another video review. Now I may not get much time to make more reviews this week, so I decided to make one more today. This will be basically a prevention test on Microsoft Security Essentials. I tested the last version. Now the newer version is just basically the same. That's uh, kind of like the reason why I wasn't testing it. Let's make sure that it's up to date. And uh, the only thing that I'm noticing in this newer version is kind of like basically in the real time. Uh, last time I saw a setting here that used to tell us uh, to enable or disable behavioral blocking. Now that isn't there. Now apparently they have removed their behavior blocking service, if I'm right. I'm not sure, but that's no longer there in the settings. Now they've changed the name of the cloud to Microsoft Advanced Protection Service Maps and I've selected basic membership and uh, well I mean that's it so uh, there you go it's up to date so I've got some malware links as I said it'll be a prevention test no files today so let's get started here All of these are brand new files, all zero day malware. Whoops, sorry about that, in case there was a sound problem. Just drop my microphone. Okay, we'll rename this one to executable. Okay, so this one was caught by Microsoft Security Essentials and it's been cleaned. So the next ones, you know, some kind of infected web page or some redirect. And it seems to be doing its job. I'm not sure what it did. Anyway, so let's carry on here. This one's again some kind of infected web page. Microsoft Security Essentials doesn't seem to have a lot of web blocking. This is a Trojan. Or at least that's how CleanMX classified it. Seems to be going along pretty slowly, so try the next one. This is an archive. Okay, this looks to be some kind of backdoor, or I'm not sure, maybe an infected script. Okay, let's open up this archive file. Okay, so that one opened without any problems. Whoops. Okay, so let's try out this Trojan. And this one as well. Okay, here we've got a file. Let's see if Microsoft Security Essentials blocks it. Okay, that one was got blocked by their signatures. This one's probably another infected web page or there might be some download here, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's uh, just carry on. This one's a zero access Trojan. Okay, so it wants me to download Adobe Flash Player. And while that's working away, let's try the next one here.
let's run this Trojan. This one seems to be stuck. Okay, so last one ran. Okay, let's uh, try out this adware. I'm not sure if we tried this. We hadn't. Okay, so we can run this one now. Okay, just give me a second here. Okay, welcome back guys. Just had to attend the phone there. Uh, there you go. This is a piece of spyware that it wants to download. So this is This piece of adware has this guy's spyware with it So I'll wait for that to finish and meanwhile we'll try out our last link So so far we've seen a lot of misses I'm not sure what exactly happened to all of them. I mean they're running, but they're not doing too much Uh You'd expect the computer to freeze up or something, but nothing like that's happened so far. So anyway, we'll find out how exactly uh, Security Essentials did. Now finally, it looks like it's uh, installing the legit program. Come on. So there you go, it's going to download this, and right now the PC is just hung up. Let's just try to open up Kill Switch and see what is running. Okay, I'll accept. All that I can see is this piece of adware. Now other than this, I'm sure there are two or three Trojans running around that are not exactly visible to us. But I'm sure they'll show up in Kill Switch. Uh, there you go, this is that piece of spyware. It'll be cut most probably. Okay, this one's some classified malware. This one's malware. There you go, more malware here. So this bounce.exe, if we remember, it was started. I think it was the second or third link. And the services.exe, probably something else. So still, I mean, I'm kind of like short. I expected a couple more, but it looks like uh, Security Essentials took care of some more stuff than I thought. But anyway, this is what is running right now. So I'm going to leave it that way. I'll wait for this to finish. I'll reboot and run a scan with something and I'll be right back. Okay, so Malwarebytes has found 30 infected objects. Let's see what they are. Um, a lot of stuff here. Files, registry keys, a lot of adware. We've got some spyware here, Zbot, as I said. Uh, yep, that one. And some more spyware, adware, Trojan dropper. Uh, that's horrible. And a zero access Trojan. There you go, as I said. And more adware. And I mean, this is just crap. This computer is a wreck. But all of these uh, were just silently hiding away. I wonder why they didn't. I mean, there was a zero access Trojan. Strange to see it didn't uh, do anything. I mean, it didn't block the screen or anything. So anyway, I'll just reboot, run Hitman Pro, and I'll be back with the results. Okay, so Hitman Pro has found another four, five infections. This one's caught by Dr. Webb. These are all confirmed malware. It's adware, click potato. As we all know, it's a pretty common piece of adware out there. This is a piece of malware, so I mean, there's a lot of stuff. So I don't think I need to say much. The results speak for themselves. 
there's malware all over the place. I don't think that's uh, what anybody would want from their security suite. So uh, for me, it's a failure, big one. So hope you guys enjoyed this. I wouldn't trust uh, Microsoft Security Essentials uh, on my computer. So hope you don't. So that's it. Uh, talk to you guys later.